Hi everyone, and in this assignment, we're gonna look into high interest payday loans. So this is high interest compound borrowing. And you may have seen, um, for example, some of these, like, I mean, they're so prevalent, right? So there's Money Mart, Cash for Your Cash Money. These are all companies that we find in a lot of like strip mall plazas where they um, offer high interest loans, sometimes based on the fact that you're gonna get a paycheck in the future so, but that might be at the end of the month. So they loan you the money in advance, uh, but obviously there's a high cost of borrowing, okay? So um, let's just pretend that you're not ne necessarily being very responsible and you're just thinking to yourself, okay, I wanna go shopping. So what's an expensive item that's on your wish list? Okay, so some people, I don't know, Canada Goose Jackets, right? When I look at this, I'm just astounded because I know a lot of people have these jackets, right? Um, and so, for example, for a women's jacket, for a parka, I mean, let me just see, sorry. So this parka right over here, this uh, women's parka is $1,350 plus tax. Uh, when I go to the Apple store and I look up the cost of the newest iPhone, for example, the latest one, um, it's from $1,399 or $1,400. Okay, so big ticket items that we may not be able to afford, but let's just pretend we're going to take out a loan and purchase these items. Okay. Alternatively, sometimes families need to pay for emergencies. Okay, so to have good financial health, um, a lot of times financial experts uh, recommend that we have at least, okay, at least three months of money or, or, or enough money in our bank to cover the cost of daily living for three months, okay, in case something happens. So what are some examples of financial emergencies that might occur? So in your family or in your own life, um, what are some things that can happen that can impact the finances of your family? Please write that down right over here, okay? Uh, once you've done that, I want you to let's look into these different companies, okay? So some of us might be tempted to get a payday advance or take out a loan to purchase some expensive items, or we may just use these companies if we're in an emergency. And let's just say there's no family that can bail us out or help us out, okay? So um, just as a side note, uh, these companies do refer to something called the ARP, which is the annual percentage rate. And just for a frame of references, good mortgages have um, an ARP of about 4%. That means you're paying around 4% uh, over the whole year, okay? Credit cards are very much more expensive. They might be something more like around 20%, okay? But what we'll notice is that if you don't pay up on some of these companies, you'll notice that the ARP is very, very high, okay? So let me just show you an example of this, okay? So if I click on those icons, okay? So this is Money Mart, okay, and they're just like, oh, how much money do you need today, okay? So let's just say I did need, I don't know, uh, $1,000, okay? So if I put in $1,000, they're immediately telling me that, okay, it takes $120 to borrow $1,000, okay? So already what I'm noticing is that in order to borrow, um, I need to pay a lot of money for this, okay? And it's actually quite high, the interest rate. OK, let's just say that I want to pay back this um, monthly. OK, but it might take me, for example, one year to pay it back. OK, or even let's just say um, let's just say I wanted to borrow five thousand dollars. OK, five thousand dollars instead. OK, so what you'll notice is that for five thousand dollars, if I'm going to pay pay it back over 12 months, um, I'm noticing that every single month I'm going to have to pay. $588, okay? So let's take a look at the full loan details, okay? So let's take a look at this. So when I do this, uh, and if I pay this back over 12 months, okay, I will have to pay $5, $500 every month, but overall, I'm gonna have to pay an extra $2,000 so I'm going to, at the end of the year, pay $7,000 and take a look at this APR. The annual percentage rate is very, very high. It's 46 or 50, almost 50%. Okay. This means that you're, you're paying back 50% of the money that you borrowed in interest. Okay. So that's really, really high.
okay? So please play around with this. I want you to determine how much it would cost for you to borrow $1,300 from one of these companies. What is the ARP? When is it due? And what happens if you don't pay the money back on time, okay? Uh, so uh, just play around with this. Uh, there's different settings, so whatever you choose to do, I just want you to click around and figure out how much money it costs to borrow this stuff, okay? There's also the idea of the payday loan, so um, you might want to look at that as well and just get some numbers from there as well, okay? So please record your research here, um, and then uh, I also want you to reflect after you've done that, okay? Why do people get cash advances or loans from these companies when they charge so much interest? Okay, so think about that. Uh, name some features of the websites um, and stores that attract customers. And would you ever use these companies? Please explain. Okay, because obviously people use these companies, but they're enticed to use them. Um, and so I want you to reflect on uh, why it's attractive to use these companies, even though the interest rate is so high.